so before we begin right if there are any questions that you have throughout the session you can just put them up in the chat box in the comment like you can comment them and i'll uh, go through them while uh mega mega is here and then we'll answer a couple of them and towards the end also we'll be opening the forum for further questions that you all have after we're done with the interview so like could i have a quick thumbs up or like something so that i know you'll have got you'll have got what i'm saying please All right. Okay, so I'll just add Mega. And we shall have Mega shorting. Hi Mega. Uh hi Sachet. Thanks for having me. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So, let's begin. Yeah. My name is Sachit Galaya from IBDP or two, and I'm here to speak with our IBDP batch 2022 topper Mrega Rane, who achieved a commendable 41 out of 45. I have goosebumps when I say that. All right. Throughout IB or one, I've seen my seniors plan and initiate uh, events and activities, as well as devote time to completing their IAs and EEs, and also work on their external exams with equal dedication. But it has been especially impressive to see Mrega, who who not only managed the schoolwork but also extracurriculars. Mrega has worked really hard, and her academic success attests towards doing her best. So hi, hi once again, Mrega. <laughs> hi, Sachin. Yes. Uh, it would be a privilege to interact with you and learn more about your journey, so that the viewers and I can benefit from it. So are we ready, Mrega? Yeah. All right. So to start off, I know this is a very difficult question to ask. How do you feel after talking? Well, uh, I mean, before I say anything about that, first I would like to congratulate all my friends for achieving such amazing grades in their IB, and I would also like to thank all my teachers because without them, achieving these goals would have been difficult. Now, coming to your question. Well, I mean, I still can't wrap my head around the fact that I was able to get like a forty-one or forty-five. Like, I still cannot imagine how this was possible. But I mean, here I am, and like two years of intense hard work put in by my teachers and I, and like the support uh, from my parents and my buddies. I mean, getting these scores is like it's like I feel extremely satisfied. So yeah. So you are still trying to take it in that you scored a yeah. 40, 45. Yeah. All right, all right. So, Mrega, you've been a part of CP Goenka as in the CP Goenka family for four years approximately. Yeah. And you've experienced the online part to a full extent and the offline part as in you've been in campus, studied there, right? So, what I want to ask you is, what is your most memorable part about your experience at CPGS? So my most memorable part uh, moment at CPGIS will be when I met my IB teachers and my friends for the first time uh, during offline school. So we had known each other for almost a year, year and a half because of online school, of course. But um, like it was the first time when we actually met in person. So like I was like extremely excited to meet all my new IB teachers and also the teachers who had taught me during my ninth and tenth. So the teachers, like uh, especially uh, our IBDP coordinator Miss Neha and our class teacher Miss Vidya, made us feel welcome. So they conducted uh, many games, uh, like games and activities, like treasure hunts, then quizzes, and also gave us a school tour, which kind of like uh, made us feel welcomed and like kind of, I mean, yeah. So like we got to interact with our teachers. And another thing I was super excited about was to meet my IB friends, and I mean it was the first time when I met them in school, and like we immediately got along. So, and even till this date, we are still in contact with each other. So I guess the first day of offline school was uh, my first step towards meeting these amazing teachers and my and friends, and I don't think I'll ever forget that experience. You came to the campus a couple of days back, right? I, I guess we met, right? And how? Okay, so like it, it obviously felt like you're coming back here, although you you studied online. But that feeling of 
knowing that you were here for like four years, you you again topped the school, and then knowing that you passed out out of CP Goenka, meeting such wonderful people, teachers, students, and everyone else that was involved. So, for everyone out there who doesn't know this, Mega Mega has played competitive tennis. It's a known fact that you played competitive tennis. So tell me, how the school supported you with balancing academics and co-curriculars? So the reason I did IBDP, basically I joined IBDP at CPJS, was because the our IBDP coordinator, the teachers, and all the staff members were willing to support me as I pursued my. Passion, which is playing competitive tennis. So, like, they were ready to like reschedule uh, our class classes according to my tennis schedule. So, like, I uh, like I could attend as many classes as possible. And I mean, due to COVID nineteen, I wasn't really able to play tennis that often. But like, school was still like supporting me to take up other extracurricular activities. And like, with school support, I was able to. um complete a certified yoga teacher's training course and i guess apart from that school has also helped me to like reschedule my exams so during 12th grade prelim during my uh, 12th grade prelims i was actually a bit sick so i really couldn't attend uh, couldn't give my exams but school like without even hesitating at all they were like we'll reschedule your test so that you know you can give these exams and get like a proper report card because i mean this report card was essential for my application for my university application so like school has been really very supportive all right all right so basically they allowed you to find the right work life balance let's say that yeah. they allowed yeah. you to pursue what you really you know you really liked or rather loved right like yeah. that you loved right and they allowed you to find that right balance which is very important right being an ib student also like even i personally feel that having the right work life balance as well being able to manage school work all the submissions and being able to you know figure out some tiny tad bit of time to like just do what you love right be it a sport be it anything else right so the school was very helpful and it has been too so like i mentioned earlier like i was interacting with everyone and i said that i be stuff sometimes okay there's a lot of workload rather not let's not say tough but workload so yeah. and one of the most important parts of that are the ias and the exams yes so how do you prepare for your ias and exams so for my ias i did like a lot of research like i would be spending hours and hours just going through research articles finding like one or two lines that will be like important for my eyes and actually my research it gave shape to the way my final eye drafts came out to be so like this i did like a lot of i mean a lot of research and for my exams i solved a lot of past papers i mean i know solving past papers can be like really tedious and you are like oh my god why should i spend so many hours like just on past papers but like trust me solving past papers are like important cuz i mean they help you understand the way i mean the type of questions that might come in the exam and also like uh, you would not feel surprised if like a question kind of like you know it's like difficult and also like yeah past papers really help me and another thing that helped me for both my eyes and ears was taking feedback so like in school we got individual feedback from each and every teacher like about for our subject for tok cas e and all of that and basically our teachers sat with us uh, went through our documents and also like they basically told us whether we are going according to our ib criteria or not and that helped uh, help me score my marks so like i mean this is actually a truth like true story that i i mean because of my spanish teachers um, my spanish teachers guidance and feedback i was able to boost my scores from a 5 to a 7 uh, during my board exam like in my in spanish so yeah feedbacks are actually really important while preparing for your eyes and uh, exams all right so let's just list it down Partial paper practice, getting yes. time, researching, and what? Yeah. Important. These three things, right? Yeah, these three. Are, yeah, these three are important. For everyone who's out there, any IB student, any juniors, make a note of it. I've made a note of it already. 
so the ib curriculum right nega like you mentioned cas tok and e talking about cas right so cas stands for creativity activity and service right so can you tell me how how like since cas is, is an important part of the ib curriculum right how did it help you so cas basically taught me how to be a risk taker so like without cas i wouldn't have done a lot of the activities that i did in the past two years so uh, basically for my cas project i decided to teach english to college students in the sindhudurga district which is basically a rural area in maharashtra and i was really really nervous cuz well i hadn't really taught anything to anyone before but with miss uh, sara our cas coordinator support i mean i got the courage to like you know conduct lessons and uh, basically curate and conduct lessons for all of these students and i mean i'm really i i feel really proud to say this that all of my students have applied for many like have applied for a few internship and they have given many interviews in english so basically whatever skills that i taught them they have been implementing it and like i am like extremely happy to see that happen so another thing that um, like cas has helped me is to learn new skills so i've learned a lot of new skills over the past two years like cooking baking like even rangoli making so it's not necessarily that you know it's like streamline work you can do anything for cas and like it has helped me to develop holistically but it has also helped me in terms of my university application because uh, like universities really value all the activities that you do in during cas and it actually helps you like you know make make your application stand out in comparison to other applicants all right so basically what it allowed you to do is pick as in holistic development right like yeah. it's allowed you to not it's allowed you to work on things that you never thought you would actually do let's just say that was rangoli making something that you do earlier like no not really like it exactly. was something that i did and the fact that you you taught college students right like yeah. i don't think you, you would have ever thought ever or even i would ever think that i'll teach college students and they'll end up getting internships right and the yeah. fact that all the efforts that you put into something and it's turned out to be much better or however you wanted it to be is is something amazing right like knowing that they've got internships already because you helped them in the process of learning so cas basically allowed you to like develop not only yourself but also help the broader community out there yeah all right thank you so much mega moving on right you mentioned it allowed you to uh, cas allowed you to be uh, a risk taker it allowed you to do things that you never done basically become a risk taker broaden your horizon to many more things many new skills rather learn new things right so how how has the, how has ibdp as a program uh, at cpj has shaped your personality and um Um, can you all hear me? I thought my video was lagging. Yes, yes. No, you're all. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So basically, what I was saying was, I have become a lot more focused over the past two years by studying at CPGIS. So I guess that this change in my attitude was only because of the fact that I could manage my time wisely. So a lot of my teachers guided me on how I should manage my academics. and also like set deadlines for whatever tasks or assignments that they give me so that i can complete them in a stress free way and that really helped me to manage my time wisely so their guidance helped me uh, develop my time management skills and it also helped me to become fo- more focused all right okay so basically uh it basically made the learning process easier right for you as an individual also to like soak in all that information like the six subjects all that information and the teachers were there for you throughout the process so like obviously learning is something that as in it's tough no matter what the age right no matter how smart you are no matter how good you are right and it's tough sometimes to soak in some information right so 
what were your biggest challenges and how did the school help you overcome like you mentioned the teachers were there throughout the process so obviously there would have been these little challenges that came up and they got the better of you sometimes so like how did the school uh, help you overcome that so the biggest challenge for me and i guess for all of us would be uh, adapting to the impact of covid-19 and the lockdown so basically i am not really that good at using technology and because like of the lockdown we all had to shift to online learning but school made the online learning process like really easy so they would send us um, basically informational ppts on how to access and use the different technologies needed for online learning like zoom or uh, edmodo and they also like sent us uh, our textbooks in pdf form so then so that we didn't really have to go through the internet like search for each and every textbook and also the teachers basically um, created like these fun and creative ppts and arranged a lot of activities like virtual labs simulation virtual field trips collaboration and integration sessions and guest lectures so that we could learn in like fun and exciting ways all right okay so basically although not being someone who was okay with like technology like you know i don't think so you are very inclined towards using technology for education especially like having online classes missing that fun of being in the campus just yeah. like how you'd come to you you recollected all those uh, days back in itcse so basically yeah. what i is or what i came to know is that online school right and i'm very sure because one year i guess approximately one year also like my first majority of my first year i do had online education so i really relate to what you've said lucky me i i i'm going for my second year to school so thank you for that yeah i mean you guys are lucky because we only got like 6 months of uh, <laughs> offline school so yeah but then it was fun having you guys in school knowing that we have someone to look up to like we had all of you there especially you so thank you so much now once again 41 out of 45 is a notable score right and you've made as you all as you've made all of us very proud and as a junior it's going to be unfair if i do not ask you for a few study tips you'd like to give us especially like since in a year we'll be giving our uh, ib exams so like and for everyone out there who's watching what are your tips to everyone and especially your juniors so i have a few tips with me so my first tips for your i's and e's would be like creating a timeline so basically what i did do while working on my i's and e's was basically i divided my i's and e's into like multiple tasks and basically i gave a deadline for each and every task that i did and that helped me to like complete my task within the deadline that the teachers gave and it also helped me like like it prevented me from procrastinating and for my exams i mean i have already been saying this solving a lot of past papers i mean they are like they they really help you a lot in terms of understanding your exams and the question types that come in but also another thing that um, i would suggest is basically making a new things learn book it's like a new concept that i learned from my um, from my sirs so basically whatever questions that you do not get during your exam during while solving past papers you basically note that down in a separate textbook and in a separate notebook and you also write the marks team basically the answers of those particular of that particular question so what that uh, does is basically it teaches you what all the key terms that were needed for you while writing that particular answer and that also like um, indirect indirectly it also became my final revision guide while going through like you know a few hours before going like for my board exams so yeah these are some of the tips that like helped me achieve the scores that i got and i am sure it is going to help you uh, like increase improve your scores as well thank you so much mirga for inspiring us with your valuable insights before we end i'd like to congratulate you for such an amazing score and wish you all the best for your upcoming amazing future thank you so much sachet thank you everyone for being here thank you mega too